We don't like words like crucify or sacrifice, but that's exactly what the Lord did for you and for me when he went to the cross. He died a brutal death so that you and I could live free, that we could be free from our sins and free from the anxiety and just the things that come on us that weigh us heavily. We can be free of those because of the sacrifice he made for us. But we also are called to make sacrifices. And we don't like that. That, that makes us a little bit uncomfortable as well. But Galatians 5.24 says, Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. And so to keep in step with the Spirit, we do have to make some sacrifices. We do have to say no to some of the things that um, we would otherwise want to. You know, when I talk about living fit and free, a lot of people think, you know, well, if I live free, are you just saying I eat whatever I want, I do whatever I want, if I feel like working out, I can, if I don't feel like it, I don't have to. That's not necessarily the case. What it is, is that we are free to honor our bodies in the way that God created them. There's also this thing of the fruit of the Spirit, and one of those is self-discipline. So we do have to incorporate self-discipline. But what we have to do is we have to sacrifice and um, you know crucify the flesh when it comes to our focus on weight loss. We have to put that aside, you know, and the things that the world would tell us that we need to pursue those things, you know, so that we can look a certain way and we can gain the attention of others. But we have to sacrifice that and trust the Lord to guide our efforts towards lasting health. And yes, that's still going to include using some self-discipline in areas, but when it's guided by the Holy Spirit, it's something that we can stick to. It's something that can be rewarding. It is something that, again, leads us to peace and to freedom. But we have to choose to lay those things down. So this week, our verse is just asking us, what is it that we need to deny ourselves? What part of our lives or what area do we need to look at and sacrifice those passions and desires so that we can fully step into the women that God's called us to be and keep in step with his spirit? I don't know about you, but I just want to walk with him. And I know that walking with him will lead me on the path that is the best path for me to live. And it's the same for you.